that I said these are the times that I'll never forget, and I know they will never forget. If you'll stand, we're going to open with prayer. Father God, we come before you today, Lord, we thank you for another day, Lord, to be in your house. Thank you for your mercy and for your grace, God. Thank you, Lord, that you sent your only begotten Son, Lord, that he was a gift of salvation to this world. Lord, asking today, Lord, that you would just bless the play, that you would bless the hearts, Lord, bless each one that's here today in a mighty way, God, knowing that you are the gift and you are the reason for this season. Lord, we praise you. We give you honor and glory. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Be saved. Uh, some people that say that I'm small, but I don't feel so small at all. It's big enough to stand and say, Welcome to our Christmas play. Everyone, Tonight's the night God is sending Jesus down to earth. I'm so excited. Who shall we tell the news to first? When we look at our assignment scroll, we are going to the hills outside of Bethlehem to a group of shepherds. Shepherds? Shouldn't we tell some important people? It's God's plan for you to tell the shepherds first. The birth is just the beginning of the plan. Well, God knows best. Let's get the other angels and head out. Lead on, Gabriel. The people in Bethlehem, a small rural town, were just getting ready to lay themselves down. I have so much to know. I've never seen so many people in this town. The tax census is really causing a lot of headaches. Uh, 
My voice is so full I've had to turn people away. Just a little while ago, I let a young couple. I will. I will. Oh, focus. Just a little while ago, I I let a young couple stay in my stable. I, I let them. My the wife is expecting a baby any time now. I suppose it's better than sleeping on the street. Maybe I should check on the couple. No, I love Just do it, please. and sheep, nestled in blankets, the baby sound asleep. Good news we bring you this wonderful night. Jesus is born! Let us run to the site. Christmas Day. That's right. Jesus was born on that first Christmas Day. 
created from the Father, he planned it that way. And every dear person who hears and believes that moment from Jesus, a pardon receives. For folks have sinned and have gone the wrong way, but God listens closely when we choose to pray. And choose to love Jesus who came down to earth to live and to die and to give us new birth. Terrific. Christmas isn't all about gimme, 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 got to. It's a, really about Jesus and joy and love straight from God. Congratulations. Now you know the reason for the season. but I thank God for them because they're our church of tomorrow and they'll never forget these times. I know when I was growing up here, I still remember the plays, I still remember the youth and I haven't forgot those times and his word was planted in my heart. And you know with these kids, I, I said last night some of the things they said and done was so funny and I will never forget it and I've enjoyed it and it's been a hard thing. I love us had that. Things we were busy doing this week for Christmas and trying to get the play together too. But you know what? This play had a ser serious message with it. It's not all about give me, give me, give me. It's not all about what we buy. It's not all about the money <coughs> and the bills it runs into. But it's about Jesus. Amen. And he is the gift of this season. And then he says in John 3, 16, <coughs> That God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Whoever believes on him shall not perish but have everlasting life. And today that was the greatest gift ever given. Like I told the kids, we're not just doing a play for the church. We're doing it to celebrate Jesus' birthday. We have a big birthday party for Jesus. 
Because this is the time that God gave his only begotten son, that none of us should have to perish, but that we can all have everlasting life. And that's what we need to remember this season is about, that gee, God gave his, I believe that God gave the best gift he could ever give, and that was his only son. And I've said it many times, I couldn't give my son for anybody. I couldn't give his, I would give mine for him, but I couldn't give his for anybody. But that we have a heavenly father that loves us enough that he gave his only begotten son, yes, amen, yes. and sent him into this world knowing, amen, that he came in as a baby wrapped in swaddling clothes, that he was going out, King of kings and Lord of lords, amen, to save this world. God knew that he was going to a cross. He knew that he was going to be hung between the heavens and the earth. He knew that he was going to bleed and die and give his last breath, his last blood, but he in him anyway, amen, that we would be saved, that we would have that opportunity, that we would have that chance, amen. And this Christmas season, amen, remember the Bible says today is the day of salvation, amen, and Jesus is our soon coming king. He's not that baby wrapped in swaddling clothes. He, grown up, he grew up to be a man that, that is king of kings and lord of lords. He grew up to be the man, amen, that when they laid him in that borrowed tomb, amen, that he went into the he went into the earth, amen. He went into hell and he took the keys of death, hell, and the grave. He arose again on that third day that we would have victory, amen, that we have a living, amen, king of kings and lord of lords, amen. Anybody that wants to can go to that borrowed tomb. His body's not there, amen. All he left was the grave clothes that wouldn't hold him down. Amen. He is Jesus. And he's our living. King of kings and Lord of lords. He's our Savior today. Amen. He came into this world. Amen. God sent him into this world as that baby wrapped in swollen clothes. He went out a king. Amen. But he's coming back. Amen. Soon and very soon. If you're not ready to go, today's the day. Amen. This is the season. Amen. Because it's all about Jesus. It's not about the gifts we buy. It's not about what we do. Amen. For prestige or whatever out in this world. Amen. It's not about the Christmas lights or the Christmas tree. And I enjoy seeing kids enjoy Christmas better than anybody. But it ain't even about that. I always taught my kids when they were growing up. Amen. We're just having a birthday party for Jesus. Because it's all about Him. Amen. And we give gifts to everybody to show our love for them as He showed His for us. Amen. That's what it's all about today. So if you're not saved, amen, today's a good day. This would be the perfect time to celebrate this Christmas season. Because Jesus came into this world knowing He would go to, the, He knew that He would have to go to the cross. He knew that He would be crucified. He knew that He would take the stripes that would heal us. He knew that He would take the thorns that would give us peace. He knew that He would go to the grave and rise on the third day. He said they can tear this temple down, but in three days it's going to rise again. And on that third day, He arose again and gave us victory over sin, over death, over hell, over the grave. There is nothing impossible with God. He made a way and paid it all. And today, if you're not saved, today's the day. If your heart don't belong to Jesus this Christmas season, if you don't have everything under the blood, it's a good time. Amen, because Jesus is coming back soon. He's coming back, he said, after people that's made their self ready. And you know what? One time I studied a message, and I preached a message, no excuse will do. Why? Because there's no sin in her in. No excuse we will ever give standing before God but will it be excusable. Amen. Why? Because He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever will believe in Him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Today, He's a God that loves you. He's a God that died for you. And He's our risen Savior that's coming back. Amen. See these kids put on a play today, and it was very cute. 
Amen. And we loved it and enjoyed it. But it had a real message to it. Jesus is the reason for this season. See, we get so we're, we're like Mary and Martha when Jesus came to visit. Amen. Mary sat at the feet of Jesus. Amen. And taking in everything that he had to say. But Martha was busy going back and forth. She was taking care of the dinner. She was taking care of the, the, the crowd. She was taking care of everything that needed to be taken care of that day. And she told Jesus, she said, Why, Mary, in the other words, why ain't Mary helping me? Why is she out here doing something? Why is she helping me get this together? Mary was doing what was important. She was at the feet of Jesus. She was taking in every word because it's that word that keeps us. It's that word, amen, that's put into our heart that'll take us through some bad times, that'll take us through some hard times, that'll deliver us and set us free. You see, Jesus gave a word for everything we'll ever go through. And the Bible says that his word won't come back forward, but it'll accomplish all that it's set out to do. We speak the word over a situation. When we speak the word over our bodies, over our family. Amen. I don't know about you, but as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. My family's going to heaven with me. I don't know about you, but cancer's not going to grab hold of this body in the name of Jesus. Amen. He's my healer. He has proved it so many times. Not to say that things don't happen, sickness, amen, sometimes, but to say Jesus is Jesus, and he'll heal us, and he'll deliver us. We're a winner either way today. Today, if you don't know Jesus, you need to give your heart to him. Amen, that's what this season is about. And don't forget it. Don't get so caught up. See, Martha got caught up in what was happening for the day. She got caught up in fixing the dinner and, and doing the house and all that. And you see, it's so easy to get, and I, I'll be the first to tell you, it's easy to get caught up in all of that. But we need to remember that Jesus is the reason for the season. That's what Christmas is all about. It's, that, it's God's only begotten Son that loved us so much. He knew what he was going to face when he came into this world. And he chose to anyway. He loved us that much. The Bible says no greater love than this that a man have that he give his life for his freedom. Amen. There's no greater love. And Jesus has that greatest love. If you would, I'm going to ask you to stand today while Sherry sings a song. Never head bowed and never eye closed. this season is about. We need to make sure that our sins are under the blood. Amen. Because of today, Jesus is getting ready to come back. He's getting ready to sweep the eastern skies. He's getting ready to say, come up here. Amen. The signs of the time is all around us. And Jesus is getting ready to appear. You see, this could be the Christmas season that we spend in heaven. I believe it's that close. Amen. And if your sins ain't under the blood, today is a good day. Jesus come to save and deliver and set free. Amen. And that's what it's all about today. Amen. He wants to save you. He wants to deliver you. And he wants to set you free. Amen. This play was not for anything but to glorify God. And to let you know that Jesus came into this world to save you. Amen. While he was on the cross, you were on his mind. When God sent him into this world, he sent you. Thousands of years down the road, he sent us. He knew our mistakes. He knew our faults. He knew our mess ups. But he said, I'll go anyway. And I'll make a way for their escape. And that's what he did. I 
today. Not going to come back and drag you up or anything. But if you just want me to remember you in prayer, I want you to lift your hand. Because I can tell you this, I do remember you in prayer. Because it's all about seeing you saved, delivered, and set free. It's all about meeting you in heaven. Amen. And I will remember you in prayer. Amen. Because not only I seen your hands, Jesus seen your hands. And he knows you're concerned about your soul. And remember, this Christmas season, he is the greatest gift. Amen. You can be seated this morning, this afternoon. We would like to say that we appreciate everybody coming out and being a part. Everybody that supported our kids. would like to say that we thank Sherry and Becky and Brenda for helping us work.